Kudo.de. What's up guys, welcome back to Virtual Reality. Today I will show you the so-called OpenVR Advanced Settings. This is a little tool that pimps up SteamVR a little bit. So some of you guys will th now think, what, what, why on earth is he showing that to me? I already know this. Yes, this could be, but I think there are still some guys around that do not know the OpenVR Advanced Settings. So I will tell you about the setup, the installation and of course what you can do with that. So let's have some fun with this little tool and let's go. Okay guys, let's check out the setup of this tool. So this is ultra easy. This is very cool. So you will go to this website. It's linked under this video, then you scroll a little bit down, scroll a little bit down and here you find an installer. So you will download this file and just execute it. Then you say agree and next and then he's installing that and then you can close that. That's it. You, this is so easy. Also if you already have this installed, he will ask you if you want to update the current installation of course you will say yes and then he overrides that so this is everything there's nothing else <laughs> so you can close the website uh, after this and also delete the installer you don't need it anymore and then you can start steam vr and put on your headset and then you have a new a new uh, menu settings and this i will show you now okay guys here we are in the Steam environment, Steam VR environment. And if you now push the Steam button here and go to the menu, you will see that we have an advanced settings button here. You click on this and here are the OpenVR advanced settings. So this is the welcome page here. We can see whatever we, uh, we need here. Drop frames, reprojection frames, timed out reprojection ratio. We can um, choose the level of our microphone, we can set up a push to talk button and also we can apply different uh, profiles for super sampling and chaperone. We can set the profiles here, we, get, we go to new pro profile and for every app um, we can choose different super sampling settings or deactivate or activate asynchronous reprojection, interleave reprojection always on. We can do that whatever we want and just click on new profile include everything and then name it however you want voodoo and now okay and we have our voodoo profile now here it is it has super sampling 1.0 render target 1.0 super sampling filtering asynchronous reprojection and this one and this one is deactivated mm -hmm. and if you go to the main menu you can go here voodoo and then apply this is cool same for chaperone we can change a lot of stuff for the chaperones here. Like, um, look at this here, the chaperone, chaperones, and we can set the fade distance to like this. And now you can see they don't appear only when I get very close to them. Look at this. No, not even, I, I, I uh, destroyed it. We have to minimum put it on one point. Now it works. You see that? If we get very close, then they appear. This is very dangerous, guys. I don't, I don't recommend to do that. Put it on 1.5 at minimum, so it uh, will appear if you get pretty close to it. Also, we can change the height. Look at this. I have no idea what, what that is uh, for. We can, of course, make it minimum, so it looks like a little cage here. Pretty cool. Um, also, we can change the visibility. Look at this. Look at the lines. Look at the lines. And now I put it on minimum. See that? They are only a little bit visible now. And we can also flip orientation. Look at this. Now it's behind us. <laughs> also, we can um, activate a center marker. Look at this. It's, it's not good visible here. It's a... Uh, yeah, it, it's like four lines here. And it also has an arrow where you watch to the front. This is really cool. The play space 
force bounce proximity warning. Mm -hmm. You, you can do haptic feedback if you get near the um, chaperone corner or even audio feedback, open dashboard, and everything you need to know is, is, is listed there. Um, and this you can also use as profiles. The next is the play space. We can rotate our play space. Look at this. Look at this. Turns around. But here's the problem that here are our chaperones and the play space is completely different. So I have no idea why we should do that. <laughs> we can move it also like uh, on different axes. And here is the, here's the thing that for me is the most important. So perhaps you, everybody of you experienced when we start a game, we are, we are a little bit stuck in the floor or flying in the air. And this is bad. So I, I can just uh, show you how to... I, I will destroy it for now. So now I, my feet are in the floor. And when I lay my controllers on the, on the floor, you, you see, this is inside the floor. And this is not good. This is very bad, especially when you are in a game. So what you're going to do is put one of your controllers on your floor like this, stand up and then click on fix floor. And now everything is fixed now and the controllers are perfectly aligned to the floor. This is awesome. <laughs> very, very good. So also you can change audio settings like um, if you want to have a mirror device, if, if you have some friends, they want to listen to the same what you hear under the headset, you can change a mirror device and mirror volume, microphone volume, proximity sensor, push to talk, everything you need to know about the uh, audio and microphone. Mm -hmm. Here are some cool utilities. So if you are in an app that doesn't support VR very good and it, the app needs an, to push enter button and you don't want to go back to your keyboard, just hit this enter button and the advanced audio settings will tell the app, the currently active, active application to push enter. This is really cool. Also, we have an uh, alarm clock, so if you want to be reminded after 30 minutes, you can do that. This is not a problem. And you can also change the size of the Steam desktop overlay. Accessibility. You can change the player height here. Look at this. Oh, I'm, now I'm flying through the air. <laughs> so, we don't need this for now push to toggle we can also change it during the game so perhaps we can cheat a little bit with that or something like that i don't know and here are some statistics so when i'm moving around here this this uh, hmd distance moved does change and when we stand still it doesn't change anymore rotations is like when you rotate the headset it changes controller max speed look at this when i really move it very fast <laughs> we can See that here. Also, drop frames, re presented frames, reprojected frames, timed out and reprojected ratio. You can see here also. So, this is very good. A lot of cool tools, a lot of profiles, and this tool is very important for me. Uh, settings we can uh, change to auto start, that it starts with DVR and force revive page if you want to see the revive when we started. So, this was the OpenVR advanced settings. Let's go back to the studio and talk about it. Okay, guys, that was um, the OpenVR advanced settings overlay tool. And for me, this is a must have. It's for free. So you, you have to just install it. This cool guy here, the Metsman666, he's really good. He, he made that just for fun for us. And even if you only use the floor fix, this is even worth installing the, the whole software because how often does it happen that we fly fly in the air or glitch in, in the floor in the VR games and you can just use it while you are in the game. So if you are in the game, perhaps in Skyrim VR, you are, you are glitching in the, uh, into the floor, just push the 
uh, Steam menu button, then go to advanced settings, go to fixed floor, put one of the controllers, only one of the controllers on the floor and then with the other controller point to floor fix and you are good to go. That's it. So cool. And also the function where you can change the chaperone settings. So cool. So this is really a must have guys. If you didn't know this, just install it and this is good. This is really good. So if you liked the video guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and see you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo the